Hey guys, welcome to Columbia Gadget Works. I'm Zach, and it has been a very long time since we posted a video. And we really can't change that, but what we can do is talk to you guys a little bit about what we've done over the past year here at Columbia Gadget Works. So the first thing I'd like to talk about is this contraption uh, over to my left. This is going to be our first entry into the Power Wheels racing series, which some of you may know is an electric cart racing series that happens at Maker Fairs and other events all across the country. We were hoping to have this done by Maker Fair Kansas City and Maker Fair Milwaukee, but some setbacks happened and we just weren't quite able to get it finished. But as you can see, it is a physical thing now. It is a cart that we can sit in. It has a motor that uh, we've made out of a modified car alternator like is under the hood of your car right now. It's got brakes, it's got steering. It just needs a little bit more love, a little bit more collaboration, and hopefully we'll be having it doing donuts here in the shop uh, before too long. Speaking of Maker Fairs, um, we did go to Maker Fair Kansas City this year, and we had our booth again this year. We brought back a few of our favorite projects from the previous year when we attended, but this year uh, I made this project, which I call the Laser Sketch, which is like an etch a sketch, but unlike the etch a sketch, which you you drag a stylus through sand to draw the pictures. Um, this one, the knobs actually control a laser diode on a gantry, and you move that around, and each time it fires, it etches a little line in a piece of cardboard. And it was really cool to have there because it was really exciting to watch. Like, kids would walk up to it, and you could tell that they didn't quite know what to do. Maybe they recognized that it looked like an etch-a-sketch. Uh, but as soon as they moved one of the knobs and they watched the laser move and fire, they got really excited and they'd start drawing things and they'd call their parents over to show them what they were able to do. We will be back at Maker Faire Kansas City um, in 2019 and hopefully we will be making more, pro more interactive projects just like this one. So the next thing I'd like to talk about is actually the space that I'm standing in right now. Uh, we've expanded our shop area, we've gotten some new tools, and we've really worked hard to make sure that our members have the space to build the kind of projects they want to build. Um, so if you haven't been here for a shop tour in a while, I really suggest you stop by. Uh, especially on Thursday nights, we have our open hack nights every Thursday at 7 p.m. You can stop in and there will be people who will be willing to show you around the space and tell you what we're all about. The last thing I'd like to talk about uh, is something really exciting. We were actually featured um, by our local PBS station, KMLS, um, on their show Wicked Awesome Stuff. They actually came in here um, while we were actually moving into this new shop space. They brought in their cameras and a few of us got interviewed, which was really neat because we got to talk about uh, maker spaces, our maker space, and the maker movement in general. Um, it was really cool and you should definitely check it out. We're going to put a link in the description uh, so that you can actually go and watch their coverage of our space. So that was just a few of the cool things that we did here at Columbia Gadget Works over the past year. Um, I'd like to thank everyone for their support in 2018 and for your guys' continued support um, into 2019. Stay tuned to this channel. Um, we will be doing more cool things and we will be posting videos as those cool things happen instead of just as one video here at the end of the year. But thanks for watching and uh, see you guys next time. Bye.